In this video, we'll continue on with the API connection for Chart.js. And what we're going to do now is we want to filter our API data where we only see here the 300,000 or beyond salary. So there will be a way how we can modify the API just matching our certain condition that we want. So let's start to explore how we can filter the salary, but also have the matching name connected to that salary. This is part two of the Chart.js API for beginners in Chart.js 3. And what we're going to do here is basically build on what we did in the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, please watch that video first. So what we had here so far was we have all of this data here. But what I would like to do now is, for example, instead of showing all the employees we have here, I would like to filter out. And what I mean by that is I want to filter out our employees that we are paying 300,000 or more annually. So this will be interesting because now we already have the connection working. So let's start to work on the next part. So in here, we go in here and in here, what we have here, we can remove this basically and build our completely new structure. So I'm going to change this because this could be basically also refactored in a far more efficient way. However, Let's start to work on this right now. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here constant, and this constant will be staff data. And the reason I'm going to call this now staff data is basically we are showing all the staff data. So let's start to get the connection here. We say data points, dot data, and then dot map. And then in here, I'll just indicate it as staff. And in the staff, we're going to use this arrow function here which will indicate in the function so if i just do now here is a very simple console uh, console.log and if we say staff you will see we will grab every single staff here make sure you save this refresh and then let's see all right it works nicely of course right now it doesn't show anything here so don't worry about that because we destroyed basically the chart but what we have here is every single employee and the, the, the sorry the record here the status is successful that's all right but this is the most important one here and in here we can now start to compare do a comparison and what we want to do is if a condition is true we want to push that value into the array well which array well if you scroll down here you can see these are the arrays we have so we can go we can just copy these arrays I'm going to put it in there and then later on, we will be using this here. But I'll just comment these out because they should not be in here. We only need the names here, but I'm going to show you exactly when we will need them. Because let's look at this. If you use map, you're basically looping through every single data here. And now we're going to loop through the entire staff information here. So what I would like to do then is the following. I would like to do here a if statement. And this if statement will be very simple. We say if... And what we want to do is this, if the staff earns 300,000 or more, push it in the array and show that on the chart. If it's not, do not show it at all. So what we're going to do here is, we say if, um, Lear, all right, and then we say if the staff, which is this information here, which would be this entire array, but then eventually we'll get, grab not only the staff, but the staff uh, salary, employee salary, that's the one we will eventually use. So we say if, staff dot then we're going to grab here what exactly employee salary that's the one this is larger than well say two nine uh, two nine nine two hundred thousand nine 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 all right larger than this in that case i would like to do the following i want to push what i want to push well i want to push two items remember i want to grab the salary here this array is a blank array right now. So we say push, and you probably are familiar with push array. Push array means pushing something into the array value. We want to push. And what do we want to push? Well, we want to push this value that we have compared. We want to push that value. But if we do this, we have one issue here. We will not grab the employee name. And this is important because if you don't do this, you will get an unmatched employee name. So what we want to do here as well at the same time, immediately, we don't have to double this. All we want to do here is the following, we say here, employee full name will be pushed, because if the salary is true, push the array for the salary, but also push the name matching with it. So for example here, Tiger Nixon, 
If his salary, which is in this case correct, above 300,000, Tiger Nixon will also be shown as the label. So we push that label at the same time. So we don't say your staff employee salary, no. We're going to say here staff employee name. So let's put it in there. And once we save this now, you will notice that now we're basically done. And if I refresh here, let's see if this works immediately. There you are. It works. And now you can see we only get the values that are filtered based on 300,000 and beyond. Everything below doesn't show up here. And that's basically the way how we can play around with this.